today I'm going to be doing a first impression of this blow dryer from Amazon. This one is auto rotating. I wanted to try this out on camera. It's very interesting and I have not even opened it yet. Get excited. That's what we're going to be doing today. If you are new to my channel, my name is Deandra. I post lots of hair, fashion, and beauty content, all of which I always keep affordable. We're bougie, but on a budget around here. So if you enjoy that kind of thing, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below, turn on the bell notifications, and let's get started. There are two barrels. This looks like the bigger one. Here is the smaller one. So right off the bat, the bristles on these look so much better than the one that I have. We get two sizes in this. I'm really excited about that. I do like a smaller barrel for a more curled effect and then a bigger barrel for just like a quick straight blowout. Before I get started, I am going to apply some products starting off with this Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Oil. This is the anti-frizz serum. I just take a pump of that and I apply on the ends of my hair and just throughout, especially in the areas that are super dry and damaged. Just brushing my hair out, starting on the bottom. And then I'm gonna section the top and a bottom layer. Now I'm gonna go in with this Hask Flash Blow Dry Spray. And this just protects my hair, but it also helps it blow dry faster. So I just try to make sure I get all of my hair top and bottom, root to end. I'm also gonna apply this 10-in-1 primer, just for some extra shine, extra protection. Now we're ready. It does have an off, a cool, a one and a two, okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to try this, you guys. Okay, let's grab the first strand. Oh, it has to be on for you to press the buttons. Okay, so I'm gonna press the right button so that it curls away from my face. Okay, let's try this. Okay, so on that strand, I was trying to see if it would roll the curling iron um, and turn it while it was blow drying, but it looks like I'm going to have to place the strand on the end right here and then curl it all the way up to my root and just let it sit till it dries. Or let's try that and then see. So what I figured out is I think it would take forever for it to dry, just keeping it rolled up. So what I'm gonna do is keep my finger on the rotator and just keep going up and down, even if it pulls and stops, because that's the way that I blow dry my hair with a non-rotating round brush anyways. So, cause I usually do like this kind of motion. So 
I'm rolling while I'm pulling it out and I feel like that's doing the rolling for me. So it does kind of make it easier. Let's keep going. <laughs> At the end of the first section, I can already tell that my ends are looking so much smoother than they normally would, just because this is helping it turn and smooth out a lot easier. I'm impressed, you guys. Look how sleek and shiny my hair looks. This is amazing. <laughs> Okay, so this one, I have a feeling I'm gonna have to press the other way, which that's awesome that it turns both ways. On Instagram, I posted an IGTV on how I get volume at my roots with the round brush blow dryer. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you definitely should so you don't miss stuff like that over there. I really feel like the bigger barrel is going to be so good for getting major volume because that brush rolls it and then you can bring it back down and just have major volume. So I'm going to try that at the end too. I'm still really loving it, you guys. It's super easy to get the hang of and it's making my life so much easier and it's blow drying my hair so much faster than doing it by hand. So I'm very, very grateful for that. I will say that keeping my finger on the rotator button definitely helps because when I take it off, the brush tends to like just keep rolling and if I keep it on, it's causing that friction with my hair so it keeps pulling it straight, which makes it smoother. My ends are mostly done. Let's try the bigger barrel. And... How? Oh, 
okay, so it just pops off. Okay, so then it's just gonna snap back in. There is an arrow and it holds tight. So let's do my roots now. I'm just gonna take the front section and we're gonna blow dry up. And you do wanna keep your finger on the button that twists your barrel because it's gonna pull it a little bit tighter which helps it blow dry up, giving you more volume. You guys, this was $30.99. You absolutely need it. Look at this blowout. I feel like the results speak for themselves. My hair is so shiny, so soft, and it has a really pretty curl on the end. It was super easy to achieve, and it took me less time than normal. There was a little learning curve with the arrows and which way I should be turning, but that was easily figured out and I'm just blown away. I love that you get two size options and this is so good. I will leave the link down in the description box below. $30 well spent for sure. I will keep you guys updated on how it lasts and how it holds up. Be sure to follow me on Instagram because I do always share updates like that sooner over there than here on YouTube. So if you don't want to miss out on that information, go give me a follow over there. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and found this video helpful. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.